still I am not that well versed with Google Meet because usually I use uh, Zoom. Uh, we always use Zoom platform, so I am not uh, that much familiar with the technicalities of Google Meet. But fine, I hope you all can see the screen. I mean, my PowerPoint. Correct. Yes. 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 Absolutely. So, welcome to the training program: A Practical Guide to Self Hypnosis. And I know all you are familiar with this uh, terminology, hypnosis. All are really interested in knowing more about hypnosis. Some people may be having some kind of a. Uh, of course, there is an affinity towards hypnosis, but there may be a mix of fear and attraction towards hypnosis but there are uh, because there are lot many uh, misunderstanding connected to hypnosis and today we are not going to talk about hypnosis but self hypnosis and you may be knowing uh, there are two types of hypnosis normally we call it as hetero hypnosis and self hypnosis hetero hypnosis we are hypnotizing another person and self hypnosis we are doing it to ourselves and in this uh, maybe 45 to 50 minutes training session you will be uh, exposed to the answers of these two questions why we need to learn and practice self hypnosis actually what is the role of self hypnosis in my life and then we'll be of course uh, discussing about how we can do self hypnosis the steps through which we can take ourselves into trance so these two questions we will be answering today in this training session so let us uh, first move to the first part of the training program why self hypnosis because without knowing the use of self hypnosis uh, in our life i i am sure none of you are going to practice self hypnosis after this training program so first let us have an idea about what is the importance of self hypnosis or what could be the use of self self hypnosis in our life and this is a normal question we all are using in our day to day life looking at someone who really achieved something great in his or her life why are some people more successful than others and most of the time we look at some of our old colleagues or classmates and then always uh, sometimes getting envy or uh, getting some kind of a i not say jealous but still having a feeling that why that person suddenly got into a an entirely different plane whereas i am still ha being in my uh, that uh, same level where i was there 10 years back so this is a, a million dollar question we are having in our mind why only some people are really becoming successful we always say it is only less than 1 percentage because you might you might have heard about that for uh types of people the classification that is uh, raw failures sophisticated failures then pseudo successful people and real successful people actually this uh 85% of the people are into the category of pseudo successful people because they achieve success they try for success they achieve success but knowingly or unknowingly they get stagnated in that uh level of success which they achieve they don't look for the next level they are satisfied not satisfied but they will be happy because we always say i got a good job i have got my own uh, house maybe an ancestral house i or i build my house my uh, kids are studying in a good school and we use the term i am well settled so these people they are happy with their uh living standards and they don't really try to go to the next level and these people they think they are successful but actually they are pseudo successful and pseudo as most of you know it is a uh, duplicate or it is not the original one or actual and there are less than 1% of the people who really look for the next level whenever they achieve a level of success they try to get into the next level they they uh, make plans and they try for the next level they achieve it but still they don't they will not stop there they go for the next level and for them achieving success is a continuous process they keep on achieving newer and newer heights and looking at these kind of people 
this 85 percentage that pseudo successful people always ask this question why are some people more successful than others and actually the answer is the choice of habit and this is not a new thing to you all i know it is the choice of habit it is not the choice of your dream plan or action it is a choice of habit so what is that much uh, important with habit as compared to the normal uh, use we have or normally uh, usages we have just like in no, in most of the motivational training program we will be talking about dream plan vision and then taking it into action making action plans and moving forward but actually it is not action or dream or vision that makes our life getting into the next level it is actually the choice of habit and if you really wanted to know the power of habit you just write down whatever you do in a normal day from morning after you get up till night before you uh, get into bed just in every half an hour what all you do and from morning onwards just like i am getting up then uh, going to washroom brush my teeth going to toilet or taking bath then maybe breakfast or surfing through the uh, social media platform or reading uh, newspaper then going to office and all these activities which you do normally in a working day a normal day whether it is working or non working a normal day you write all these in a paper then check which all these activities you do repeatedly every day repeatedly every day because these actions already became your habits then you can see just tick all those uh, actions or all those uh, activities you do every day then you can understand and sometimes realize most of the things which we do every day is actually habits not the actions which we uh take decision on that day and go for the action it's all became habits we repeat it every day whether it is getting up brushing your teeth or taking bath or going to your office through the same transportation maybe your a two wheeler your four wheeler or bus or train same vehicle or same route reaching the same office or shop meeting the same colleagues not customers of our same colleagues sitting in the same chair or same table doing almost same kind of work and noon again most of the time same lunch then having again work coming back to home through the same route meeting the same most of the time meeting the same people going to the same supermarket or same market mostly buying the same set of uh, articles from the supermarket or market because we will be liking only this uh, set of uh, things so we will be purchasing mostly the changes are very less we will be purchasing mostly the same things every day or not maybe every day maybe weekly once but all these actions and after coming back to your house again whatever you do maybe watching tv or watching whatever uh, the series or a sports channel or news channel whatever it is everything again same which we repeat every day even uh, dinner what we have and the interactions we have with our family so all these we are doing every day and all these are become our habit and that is the power of habit in our life because 95 percentage of everything that we think feel do and achieve is the result of our habits and this is the power of habit and once we form a habit actually what happens in our brain is that and